Just a quick disclaimer before the video starts, initially this was going to be one video but it ended up taking me hours to film so I didn't want to upload one huge video and this is why I split it into two parts. But don't you worry because part two is already up. Hey guys, so today the video is going to be different than any other I've done because I'm mostly doing like beauty related videos. And today I have super minimal makeup on. I just have concealer, brows, lashes, and a lip liner on my lips. So no foundation, no bronzers, highlighters, all that jazz. And yeah, I'm in simple gym clothes. Well, I couldn't find my gym bra, so I went for something more fancy, but that's okay. And anyways, today we're going to be doing a full-on wardrobe organization, declutter, reorganization and all that and I'm saying reorganization because I've already had well we've already had me and my boyfriend this wardrobe for quite a few months and we've kind of been like chucking things in there and I just really wanted to make it more presentable and make it more easy and accessible to things and to be honest like I've kind of put my boyfriend like on one quarter of the wardrobe because he doesn't really mind having his stuff on like huge display being able to like choose and pick whatever he wants he just wants it to be more like practical just to know where his things are he goes there he picks what he wants he just leaves so it's mostly me that i want the wardrobe to be more i guess like fancy and having my things on display because he doesn't care he will find what he wants to find because he knows what he wants to wear but i don't and i like my things to be more like display and be like ah oh, i didn't know i had that let me wear this so this is the goal for today this is what i'm gonna try to kind of go for now i'm gonna show you from the start what the wardrobe looks like and obviously you're gonna come in this journey with me towards what the wardrobe looks like at the end and yeah i really hope you do like this sort of videos if you do like this sort of videos make sure to give it a huge like and subscribe to my channel for more and also don't forget to follow me on our social media to see if any more of these videos are coming or to see any updates or simply just chat with me because i love chatting with you guys and without further rambling you know it let's jump into the video okay so this is what the wardrobe currently looks like the whole middle part is my stuff so over there we have the coats like all the way to the left these are like my coats my cardigans my jackets all that then it kind of like the middle part we have my skirts my jeans my trousers like all the bottom parts then here are all my like fancier tops like not t-shirts because t-shirts i have them somewhere else and all the way to the right we have all the dresses now mind you everything in here is all together summer winter that's all I have little or a lot you can judge but that's literally all I have for winter and summer but I do have some of my sweaters and heavier tops in another drawer and like I said all of my t-shirts are also in another drawer so I do have a lot more tops down here I have in display all of my shoes as you can see these are more like summery and springy shoes and back there in the boxes I have more of like my boots which I don't really use in the summer and up here I've got like one bag because I didn't know where to fit it and if you look closely like back there I have chucked into there like the it doesn't fit me section where we all have one of them and we're like you know what I'm gonna lose weight and I'm gonna fit in it and blah 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 so I'm gonna show you that also now all the way to the right this is the actual part that I'm going to give Andy my boyfriend and he has all his hanging bits right there and on the other side here he has all his t-shirts his bottoms and down there it's a freaking mess I'm gonna try to like go down a little and show you so yeah, you can see down there, it's like a huge mess. We've like chucked things down there that we don't really need or use. So we just found like a place for them. And there you can see like the whole pile of shoes that's going on. So, oh, you can see my feet down here. Anyway, so this part right here is where I keep all of my like nicer shoes. So down there, I've got more like scarves and bags and all that. So basically this drawer in the summer is taking space. So I'm gonna take everything apart. I'm gonna take all this thing apart and I'm gonna put three 
shelves in this part here because it's like all empty the middle bit is gonna stay as it is I mean as in construction wise I'm not gonna change anything and this here is gonna be full of shelves that I just got so yeah this is that and let's get started reconstructing the wardrobe I'm so happy I put this thing down there because the bottom is like absolute filth. So I'm just gonna go bring a duster to just dust it so I can put other stuff in there. So now it's time to put some of the shelves that I bought and I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. I think that would be easier to do or hmm, maybe I'll start from the top and go towards the bottom I think that's a better idea okay so we're gonna start from the top but I need the little clips that I bought okay so I'm gonna count eight holes from the top and this is where I'm going to put these little stoppers for the shelves so here oh no it's not going to be easy they need a lot of strength to gain so I'm thinking I might need some sort of like hammer to really put it in that's what I'm gonna go do okay so I didn't find a hammer but I found something that can probably help like push it in so we're gonna try with this one Okay, so now I need to bring a screwdriver to get this shelf off because I'm out of breath. This one is actually like screwed in. It doesn't like keep anything together. It's just like just simply screwed in. I don't know what, why, what's the purpose of that, but yeah. Okay, so I'm literally right now going to get into the wardrobe and try to get this shelf off. Ooh, it's comfy in here. Well, let's put the shelves on. It worked! Yes! I have a feeling this will be perfect for clothes. Shoes. freaking amazing for shoes it almost makes me want to put like lights in there to light up the shoes but I won't do it okay round two now we need to fix this side with the shelves I only have two shelves but that's pretty much all we need for this side this is pretty much all Andy needs for this side so he's gonna have like three compartments with the two shelves that we're gonna add there and I think this is gonna be perfect for all the clothes he has also if you see a fly flying around here it's just my little helper for today
Okay, so now that I've done this part and this part, the next bit will be to take all of the shoes off and put them on there and then fix this side of the wardrobe. And in part two, we'll do my stuff, like the whole middle bit. And then I'll show you the drawers where I have my t-shirts and the sweaters and all that and all that. Okay, so I'm back. I went and had a little bit of lunch because I got very tired of putting the shelves back up. And yeah, Annie made some lunch because I'm making his wardrobe, so I decided, yeah, why not? Let's eat a little bit. Um, inside, I do have like a pair of trousers. This is the only like serious, classy pair of trousers that he has in this house. The rest he kind of has at his old um, home where his parents are because it's like really close and there's no point for him to like have them here if we don't have enough space in any ways if he needs them he can just go there it's like really close and pick them up so he just keeps a very basic black pair of like classy trousers for if he needs them I'm just gonna go ahead and put in some shirts as well again he doesn't have a lot of shirts here I think he has about four or five I do have um, three of them right here and most of them are like blue toned as well except uh, this one so I'm just kind of like you know trying to color coordinate them so they go like really nice in the wardrobe and they look nice oh I actually found a black one as well so I'm just going to pop this in as well there and right next to it I'm going to put all of his kind of like hoodies jackets and so on and so on he has the habit of like really not putting things back in the wardrobe usually like the coats he would rather like hang them on this little guest thing we have to hang on our clothes well not our clothes our jackets so whenever he comes in he will take off his jacket and kind of like chuck it on there and then whenever he needs it or goes out the door he will grab it from there and go I only have like this one and a red one which is more wintery you would say okay so back down at the bottom I'm going to put his trousers because trousers are something he chooses very easily like he doesn't have that many and he knows exactly which one he wants to use every time so I'm just going to put them at the bottom because it's going to be easier for him to pick whichever one he wants to use and right next to them I'm also going to put the swords and it's kind of the same drill with them okay so as you can see on the far right I have put his shorts and they're all on their side so he knows like which color is which. And then at the back I have the, his jeans and like his longer trousers. And at the front I kind of have like his loungewear because he likes wearing like tracksuit bottoms for in the house and so on and so on. Right in the middle which is easy access I'm going to put all of his t-shirts and yes he kind of has a lot of them. So at the back I'm going to put his most popular ones, what well, popular, the ones he uses more often, which are, oh my god, I'm out of breath, which are the blacks on the left and the whites on the right. In the front of the blacks, I'm going to put the kind of more colourful, like greys, blues and reds. And also here I have a few of these like tank top shirts that you put inside of a buttoned up shirt. So I'm just going to put it right there in the front. And then at the top part, I'm going to put mostly his sweaters and his hoodies. So right now he only has three sweaters, which are going to go in there and two hoodies. There you go. So this is kind of what he has right now. We do obviously have some in the washing that I haven't gotten to wash yet. So yeah, this is what it actually looks right now. I think it looks so much more beautiful and easy to access than it did before. I'm actually so proud. And like I said, the whole setup has so much more room for stuff. Like down there, he has so much more room for trousers, so much more room for t-shirts, which he loves. Like I know he's going to buy so many t-shirts in the year. So he has so much more room there. And he has so much more room for like hoodies and sweaters as well. And obviously if he wants to hang even more stuff, he does have quite a bit of room 
in the hangers at the top. So now it's time, now that we've finished with this part, I'm so happy with this part of the way. It looks so beautiful and clean. It just kind of looks like a shop. So now we're going to tackle this bit right here, which is the shoes and what i'm actually going to do i'm going to give him the top side because also with his shoes he's like super decisive he knows what he wants to wear like i said it's me that has the problem that doesn't know what i want to wear and everything so at the top at the back i'm going to put his least worn shoes okay i think i might need a chair because i can't really reach up there i'm just going to continue putting some shoes at the top Shelf. Up there at the top, I kind of like stuck them up because it's the shoes he doesn't really wear that often, but he knows are there. And I don't know, maybe he just might want to throw some away or give some away because I'm out of breath. He doesn't really use them. So I'll just put them there and then when this video is over, I'm just gonna ask him if he wants to keep them or what and show him where they are as well if he wants to use them. And now it's my bit to fix, which I'm so excited about. So yeah, now we go to the fun part, which is my shoes and I have them here and I have them in the drawer down below. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take all of them out. Actually, I might not take all of them out. I might just do them in sections. So at the bottom, I will put all the wintery stuff like boots and things that don't wear that often so I don't have to like bend down and grab them. And towards the top, I will put more of my like my more glam shoes and then my more everyday shoes and all that. So I've only got these two pairs of sandals that I do wear every day. So these are going to come up here. At the back, I'm going to put my sneakers. And how I really like to put my shoes is um, one facing me and one facing away because with this way you can save a lot of space as well. Okay, so now I'm going to start going into levels, like I said, from the shoes that I use quite every day and then going towards the shoes that I use not so much and then my glam shoes and then right at the bottom all the winter shoes. So what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of like separating them and then I will see exactly how they're gonna go. I kind of really want to place the winter stuff so I know exactly how much room I have for all the rest. So I'm gonna start putting some winter stuff in. So at the back I'm going to put my more everyday boots because I don't want them to show. I want like the nicer ones to show at the front. So I'm really sorry about that, but my camera stopped recording because I've run out of space, unfortunately. But you didn't miss too much. I just put my shoes in order, as you saw at the start of the clip. Up in the two top rows, I put Andy's shoes. And he mostly has like sneakers. And then he has like one pair of like good shoes. And then I put on my everyday summer shoes. Then my everyday-ish spring shoes, like if it's a little bit colder. Then I've got my high heel sandals down here, my casual high heels, then boots and nice glam winter heels. And at the bottom, I've got my regular everyday boots that I wear. So this is how the right side is looking so far. And I'm really starting to love these guys because I think it's starting to look more and more like a store, which I love it. I like having everything on display and being able to choose so much. So now let's continue to the middle bit, which is going to be the challenge. So I just wanted to tell you here that this is the end of part one. This video was going to be a way too long because I wanted to show you everything in detail. So this is why I spread it into two parts. And now we fixed um, Andy's wardrobe on the right side. And we also fixed all the shoes on this side. And you're gonna have like a closer look in 
loop no you're gonna have a closer look in the ending clip as always like i told you so yeah because the middle part which is my part is going to include like literally everything it's going to include the declutter as well because andy's clothes are not going to be decluttered or anything he did this like a while ago and he kept all the things he needs to keep so yeah because this was going to be the really hard part and includes bags and accessories and t-shirts and sweaters and literally everything that i own in my wardrobe and it's not just this that Andy earns. It's going to be like a really big video because we're gonna talk about what I'm gonna keep, what I'm not gonna keep and all of that. So I'm gonna do this in a part two. Anyway guys, thank you so much for joining me in organizing the first part of my wardrobe and if you're interested to see how the middle part will look after we're done with it, make sure to check out part two. I will put it down in the description and also in the end screen if you're interested. Thank you so much for joining me for part one and I'm going to see you back in part two. So, like I promised you, on the left is part 2 of the wardrobe organization videos and if you're like, screw it, we wanna see what you put in the wardrobe, well, then on the right is my latest try-on haul and, spoiler alert, loads of dresses.